Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here, and today we're going to be looking at Alpha Flight Giant Size Annual Number 2. Alright, this is from 1987. I can't believe that uh, I even have this comic. It should not exist because uh, I'm of the school of thought that Alpha Flight was basically cancelled after uh, John Byrne left with issue 28. However, I did stay on to torture myself, and sometimes, you know, um, it pays off, sometimes it doesn't. But I love art and artists. I'm mainly in it for the comic book art. So I have to say we've already got a winner here with this Kevin Nolan cover. If you guys aren't familiar with Kevin Nolan's work, you should be. He's amazing. Um, he's just done so many cool things over the years. And he's definitely worth looking into. If uh, You know, a lot of people did not like him at first. He was uh, sort of in the vein of Bill Sienkiewicz as far as presenting like a different kind of crazy style. Um, uh, but he definitely went on to much acclaim. And I have to say, this is like my least inc favorite incarnation of Alpha Flight. I can already tell you with Purple Girl, the weird box costume, uh, Heather Hudson as Vindicator. And I'm thinking that's uh, Wanda Hudson, which is Walter Hudson, or I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, not Wanda Hudson, Wanda Lankowski. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, so I love this splash page, though. This is fun with all these penguins. And the art uh, is by June Bridgman, who was the original Power Pack artist and co-creator. Um, she has a lovely style, so I'm also happy about that to have collected this. Anyway, um, Wanda Lankowski is Snowbird's body with Walter's mind in it or some crazy crap. I just couldn't keep up after that. Okay, so June Bridgman on layouts with Bob McLeod, um, or McLeod, um, on finishes. We know him from the New Mutants, and he's such, I love his art, and whenever he does finishes, it's always welcome to me. So I have to say, from an art point of view, I'm having fun with this. And it is kind of fun nostalgia, just, just to see Alpha Flight. I love Alpha Flight. They totally discern their own book, but only if it's written by me, because I'm the only one I feel at this point who knows what to do with them. Because so many people have tried and so many people have failed and failed miserably. But I'm of the school of thought that Alpha Flight is like Marvel's hidden gem. You know, I, I pride myself in liking obscure things. I mean, there are plenty of Alpha Flight fans, though. Don't you agree? It could be like the new Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, it could totally happen. See, it's like I have no idea what's even going on in this crazy story. But I'm digging the art. See, and here's an ad for subscriptions. Remember when you could mail away for a subscription? Although the screw over of it is sometimes they came in bad condition. But I don't think that would happen today. But I think that uh, if they charged less and give you discounts, then tons of people would subscribe to comics and have them mail to your house. Why not? They're having Amazon and crap do it anyway, so. I've got ideas, people. At the next summit, if you need to know how to save comics, ask me. I have all the answers. How the hell do I know? I only read old comics. I'm not going to be able to save them unless we just replicate the old old school. This is such a great promo piece from Alan Davis. Oh my God, I love Alan Davis's art so much. So as you can see, you're not missing a lot. <laughs> by this uh, Alpha Flight Annual. I don't know, is this making you want to read it? Not me, and I'm actually reading it. I don't know, I just can't deal with post-burn Alpha Flight. I mean, I, I collected the majority of it just because uh, I'm a Capricorn, we're loyal, what can I say? I, I fight to the finish. Alpha Flight Annual 2, please, subscribe to my channel, hit like, share my content. Thanks so much for watching. I'll bring you some more soon. All right. Thanks guys.